All right, guys, in today's short, I'm going to give you an overview of how the oil life monitor system works on General Motors vehicles. GM research scientists first published a paper back in 1987 on an idea for a mathematical model to predict when oil needed to be changed. They patented it in 1988, and they started introducing it on vehicles in the late 1990s. By the turn of the century, most of the vehicles had it, and by 2010, the entire fleet had it. I'm going to give you some citations in the video description, but let's get into the details around this model and how it works. All right, the first component of this mathematical model are engine revolutions. After you do an oil life reset, you'll start out with a fixed count that represents a given number of revolutions, and that'll be burned down as you drive the vehicle. Whether the coolant is hot or cold, temperature-wise, represents a modifier to that count that can alter how fast or how slowly it gets burned down. If the coolant temperature ever gets above 260 degrees Fahrenheit, then the oil life immediately goes to 0%. All right, the next component of the model is mileage. So mileage since the reset. This started in model year 2013, and it's capped at 7,500 miles, except for the Volt. So all GM models except for the Volt. Ideally, the vehicle would reach 7,500 miles from the last reset, and the oil life would go to 0%. All right, the third component of the model is time. This is a linear function a fixed decrease in the oil life since the last reset over a given time. The oil life will drop to 0% after one year, regardless of the number of revolutions and regardless of the mileage on all models except the Chevrolet Volt. On the Volt, the duration is two years. All right, the fourth and final component of the model is a fuel and oil dilution metric. This is for diesel fueled engines only. This metric represents the amount of oil dilution due to diesel fuel and is modeled based on the engine's operating conditions. As this fuel dilution increases and approaches a set limit, the remaining oil life will then reduce towards 0%. All right, guys, I hope this video was informational and you got something out of it. If you did, pay it forward and hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.